Hi, Shay Given here. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hi, I'm Richard Coyley. You're watching Irish Football Fans TV. Hello and welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. Today we're here with Richard Coyley in SVG Tala. Uh, we're ahead of his upcoming fight next week against Alex Lahore, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Lahore. Lahore we'll call him. But you can call him Lahore, I'm going to call him Lahore. Okay. <laughs> so it's been a bit of a media circus, obviously, um, the last couple of weeks and getting a lot of publicity. How, how was that? Obviously it's your third fight now and it's a title fight. Yeah, it's, it's become more and more natural. Uh, I don't know, it, it doesn't really bother me. I enjoy that element of it. You know, it's like a pantomime or a circus. Um, so, you know, like this, the, the, media, the media stuff, you know, was all... Uh, supplementary to the fight. The real, the real business is the fight. Getting in and doing what I do best, which is you know, punching the horn in the mouth. That's, That's it. it. Well, obviously, you've had two impressive knockouts now um, in your first fight and your second fight against uh, Daniel Lesnar. And we actually caught up with you the week before that. <laughs> What's his name again? Lesnar. <laughs> Alenacek. I found out his name. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. What was it? We Daniel. We Daniel. We <laughs> I mean, listen. That, that that was all done and dusted. We put to bed. The height of respect for Daniel as a fighter and Daniel Lenacek as a fighter, as a competitor, as a martial artist. You know. He's, he's top class. The fight was the fight. The lead up to the fight was the lead up to the fight. As far as I was concerned, that's all put to bed now. Some hook you caught him with. It was actually a hook jab. It wasn't even a full hook. So, uh, you know, that's the power I can generate with a hook jab. You know, it's just like an off-centre jab into a hook. That's the power I can generate with a lead hand off that. Imagine what I can do with the, with the white hand. I'm actually trying to load up and catch power. Catch my power. Yeah. So, Alex Lahore, or Lahore, whatever you want to call him, <laughs> is in for a... He's in, he's, in, he's in for a shock. You know, I know I'm the underdog going into this fight. Um, from the from the outside looking in, the Pookie's underdog and from uh, the purest, the MMA purest underdog because of the amount of fights he had and because I've only got two fights for it. But come here, I know my capabilities. Dave Roach knows my capabilities, John Cavanaugh knows my capabilities, so, you know, it's going to make it all the sweeter when I shock everyone and uh, knock this fellow out. Yeah, absolutely, and it, it, you're coming into it now, obviously you had you were on the FM uh, 104. Uh, show it himself there. How, how did you find kind of being that close to him and not being able to do it? <laughs> it was grand. It was, it was you know, it was it's, like, it's into, you know. It was, we just enjoyed slagging him for the day. It was good crack just being able to slag him for the day. And you could see him more. Slagging the side of his head. Slagging the side of his head. It was a massive head. It's a, it's a funny dynamic, right? Because I grab him by the neck as well, right? He's a little twerky chicken neck. Yeah. Um, so I don't know how the, a neck that skinny can hold up a head that size. You know, it's it's really, it was, it was a lot of weight in it, all right? But um, yeah, look, the you know it didn't bother me being in that close proximity with him, you know. But I could see as the day goes on, I was chipping away. He came in expecting something different, you know, a bit tongue in cheek. Yeah, know, yeah. But, uh, he looked like he was getting quite agitated. He was. Though. He was very rattled. He was rattled going home. He was rattled going home. And you could see it as the, the day progressed. Um, he didn't know what to do, what how to how to handle it, um, how to handle it back and forth. So, uh, but yeah, so that was a. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, go crack though. Yeah, and obviously now with the, with the lead up now, uh, how, how is the training going? Uh, is it just focus on the, on the weight cut now, is it? Yeah, the, like the, the hard work is all done. Like I don't, again, I don't like trying out cliches because everyone says best camp ever is something yeah, like yeah. that. So you know, the proof was in when you get into the cage and the like how the camp was. Yeah. Um, but yeah, all the hard work is done. You know, I'm trying day in day out world class world class guys. So the my my uh, sparring, my training, my day to day training. You know, I get put through stuff that's going to be a lot tougher than this fight. Yeah. So. I know. You know, obviously now next week you're going to have a huge crowd and a huge following. Uh, obviously, the face of Batman and all that. Um, what's this? What's this for? You, you, you oh, yeah, um, they will say it. The face of Batman. That's it. No. Well, you, no, it's your quote. That's, that's no one. Right. No one bears the comments here. I am. Bama Sorry, that's going to be a quote. Bama have recognised that I am the face. Oh, of course, you know, yeah. third fight in, and now you have a title fight. Absolutely, so. you no, know, it's gonna, it's gonna be, the, the things are gonna align now because the face of Bama will have a world title after this fight. That's the way it should be. The face of the Pope should be the champion, and that's absolutely. what it's gonna be. And now you'll have the when you win, uh, you'll have your um, obviously that your hometown. So what better place to win? It's very, it's very hard to explain to people who, uh, you know, who haven't come to a, a crowd, a Dublin crowd like this. You know, it's the energy is something else. It's unreal. It's it's, it's hard to, it's, you know, it's almost tangible when you walk out. You know, I've been to other arenas, other uh, other uh, events, and there's no crowd that can quite rock an arena like a like an Irish crowd. You know, so the well, only they're very good at getting more in their own. Absolutely, absolutely. Like, plus in any sport, any sport, yeah, and they love a fight. Yeah, <laughs> they love a fight. So. Um, 
But yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a really vocal crowd. The only time you hear that in, in other places is when there's an Irish fighter fight. And then they bring the Irish contingent and they more or less take over the event. Yeah. You, know? so it's, it's, you saw at the Euro, you saw at the Euros uh, you saw at the Euros there in the last time yeah. they qualified. Um, and, 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 uh, you know, the vocal support was unbelievable. You know? And even that singing the babies on buses and everything like that. Oh, it's so <laughs> unbelievable. Like, it's box office stuff for yeah, just yeah. watching the fans go around. Yeah, yeah. they're on a different level, yeah. Yeah. different mindset as well. Yeah. Um, now, is, is the event um, sold out now, next week? Um, I think, no, there's still tickets, so I still have a few tickets left, like, but there's going to be a huge crowd, right? Yeah, yeah, a no, I was just going to say that yeah. anyone watching this is there. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, there's still, there's still tickets available on Ticketmaster and the fighters still have them, I still have tickets on anyone's interested in contacting them. Still still have to get tickets. Yeah. Of this <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, there's still tickets left, but anyone that's been to, been to one of my previous fights, the, you know, it's always a spectacle, it's always a show, um, not boring fights, and the, uh, the roof lifts off the arena when, you know, when I come out, so yeah, that's, that's a testament again to, to the people that come and watch the support, so thanks a million to everyone who's still come and watch the support. Alright, thanks very much, we're about to get trained up now, Richie, hopefully I don't come out with a couple of black guys. <laughs> Can't guarantee that. <laughs> thanks very much for watching, I just look all fine TV.